Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can specify the visual filter within Power BI that is basically to filter a specific visualization or customize the specific visualization by reducing the number of categories or the number of values that the visualization is showing and before I move ahead and show you just a quick information that this sheet which has all of my previously uploaded videos like around 107 videos is present in the description so that you can easily search any video or you can keep it as handy uh, with yourself in case you are looking for a specific solution and i will keep on maintaining this so you can keep it as a uh, quick cheat, cheat sheet or something like a quick tutorial sheet with you all right so let me go to the power bi here so what do i have is a simple table so if i select this table uh, what it has is the subcategory which is nothing but a very simple visualization i have created using the matrix like this which is a table and uh, what i have taken is the product subcategory and it is the sales and profit and it is the um, it is the sales superstore data so very easily available to, uh, you know for this type of tutorials and i'll put the link in the description as well okay so what is going on here well we want to filter let's say we have a scenario where we have a dashboard let's say we have a pretty big dashboard which has a lot of different visualization but only for this particular visualization we want to show accessories and appliances or like say accessories and envelopes or anything binders bookcases and storage so any combination we want because probably that's what the management or the end user wanted every time whenever he or she is accessing the visualization well in scenario like that you can specify the visual filters obviously you can do write some code and everything but i want to show you very simple visualization or a very simple technique to custom customize this visualization well what you need to do is come over here in the filters and when this visualization is selected make sure this is selected otherwise you won't get this screen right for example here i have unchecked this so now the screen is changed as you can see but as soon as I go and select this visualization, the screen is back to what I was showing originally. So what's going on here is filter on this visual is the profit filter, sales filter and subcategory filter. And in this subcategory, let's say we want to show art and labels. So we will say subcategory, we will expand this, we will keep the basic filtering. And over here, we will select whatever category we want. So we will select art and we will select envelopes. So that way our visualization will be changed, right? So if I come here, now let's say I create maybe one other visualization. I'll just select this chart, which is a cluster chart. And let me select sales, a simple measure. And let me select the same subcategory. Now, if you see, all of these subcategories are present here. Subcategory, whether it is the art. So art is here. It is sorted by highest to lowest value. So art is here. And similarly, there will be envelopes like we are showing it over here. So what I basically want to communicate is that whatever we have filtered over here is not basically being filtered over here and that's the basic purpose of the visual level filters in visual level filters we can customize a specific visualization that is of our need and keep the rest of the other visualization intact that's one of the common thing that even i have seen where in a dashboard or in an entire report we the user just want a custom chart or a custom visualization showing only specific value that is relevant rest other is he or she is okay let's say and uh, we have they have they want to you know utilize it differently similarly it is very useful let's say even for comparison that you just show a specific categories in one chart 
and the rest of the other categories or all the other categories in different chart then you can do the comparison as well as to what's going on but the main idea is that any visualization if you want to customize then you can access this visual level filter you need to make sure the visualization is selected and based on whatever is present in the visualization will be coming as a filter so like subcategory is here sales is here and the profit filter is here so you will get these filters and you will get done so that's mainly i wanted to show in this video in the next video i want to show you the visualization or i want to show you the filter actually which will filter everything on the visualization so with that let's meet in the next video now